Hello, say Charat. If you want to be good at something, if you want to achieve mastery and become an expert in any subject matter, then you need to develop deliberate practice. Deliberate practice is a structured process that has a specific intent to promote adjustments, corrections, and improvements, and it is not easy. You may have noticed that recently we are emphasizing issues related to learning. And if you're coming here for the first time, my recommendation is do not watch this video now because it is more advanced. Instead, take a look at the previous episodes first because they are more basic. First, get the basics at Aratesi Hello 34. Deliberate practice requires a conscious plan for improvements. When I begin deliberate practice, I always have a plan of action. I define in advance what activities I will perform, what is my goal, and when I will do these activities. For every activity, I have a purpose, I have a goal. Deliberate practice is very conscious and needs focus. If you need to improve your focus, then visit the link Aratesi Focus Course. In the previous episode, we saw that learning depends on repetition, but we will use intelligent repetition. We're not going to be repeating like parrots because that is not efficient. We will repeat with emphasis on very specific and different aspects. Imagine a singer playing the guitar. In one session, he will concentrate on the song lyrics. In another practice, he focuses on melody, rhythm, and so on. Another example, in sport, a deliberate practice session may focus on dribbling, then kicking strength, and then, in a different session, passing. Therefore, focus is necessary for deliberate practice. Focus determines what aspects of my skill need to be trained, so I need to define a plan, a strategy for improvement. This will help me set a realistic period of time to devote to this activity. Important! I want to measure my performance as soon as the task is completed. When I am learning by myself, I can check the answer key in the book. If I am practicing uh, singing or some sport, I can record my performance and watch it later. I may want to have a mentor who will oversee and guide my performance. In any case, I need to be aware of the moments I'm improving so I can recognize the useful approaches. In deliberate practice, I will attack my weaknesses to achieve greater performance gains. There is a small book I recommend that emphasizes the importance of focusing on your strengths and talents. But the deliberate practice brings an additional approach. To reach mastery, I need to identify what I am doing wrong and then focus my efforts to fix my mistakes. These are the points where I have the possibility to achieve a significant gain and, depending on the case, when I unlock this ability, then I can go to the next level. For example, I was studying psychology, but my knowledge of statistics was weak. So, I devoted myself to study statistics, and this will open a lot of doors. Statistics allows me to understand the clinical experiments, but there is much more than that. This new acquired knowledge of statistics also enabled me to understand other subjects such as epidemiology. You see, when I dominate a conceptual block, this will help me to unlock the next challenges. Deliberate practice is difficult. I have to pay the price if I want to improve. If you want to play the advanced game of deliberate practice and mastery, then you need to pay the price. Even though it will be difficult, it will be worth moving forward. It will not be a walk in the park. Deliberate practice is not easy, there will be frustration, and we must be prepared to strive. Keep in mind that, in general, there is no immediate gratification. I may spend a long time in deliberate practice without experiencing any progress. And this is normal, and this is expected. Time and consistency will be necessary to overcome the learning plateaus. That goes for everything you want to learn. There will always be difficult tasks, but by facing difficulties, you may proceed toward mastery. Certain tasks are really hard. They involve a lot of hard work and effort, and therefore, very few people are willing to perform them. And this is where we stay above average, by overcoming these tasks and being involved in the deliberate practice. Let's do one thing at a time. And here again, there is a link. If you need more focus, take a look. This is going to help you a lot. Arata SE 
Focus Course.